are somewhat sleep deprived. I that, would say that's so true. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, I know my husband is. I think most people, the kids are. And when you say sleep deprived, are they getting less than a certain amount a night, well, or is it over a, a month? Or well, it can be over a long period of time. But what most people don't realize uh, is that sleep. Each person has a quota, a need for a certain amount. Uh, and there's a lot of mythology about, you know, somebody only needs an hour of sleep a night, which has not been proven. You know, there may be people who need only seven hours. And, and it, the way you have, it takes time to, to measure this. You, you need to document that with this amount of sleep, you are wide awake and alert essentially the entire day. And then, you know, then that establishes your specific quota. So it's individual. It depends. Well, on yeah, I mean, it doesn't vary widely, but let's say seven to nine hours for adults, and you know, so eight hours. So minimum seven hours, and well, I mean, there are a few people who need six hours, but the people make claims, and then I've wasted, I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars trying to document the claims when I was young and naive, and right. people would say, oh, I only need to an hour of sleep at night. and it That's why it you're was, the guru of sleep, because was, you've seen it all. Right, but it, it turned out, of course, that wasn't true. Right. But I was young and naive, and you know, if someone said I only need an hour of sleep, I said, well, maybe that's true, and that would be remarkable. Now, since I have disproven those claims, nobody has made the claim for years. It used to be every so often, somebody say, I only need an hour of sleep at night, or I, I get by in 15 minutes. I haven't heard that for at least 20 years. Wow. So you're saying the average is seven to nine hours. What about for an athlete or well, who's younger? I think, I think anyone who can get extra sleep mm -hmm. is by definition sleep deprived. That is, they've accumulated. A sleep debt does not dissipate. So you lose a couple of hours of sleep, that's sitting there in your head as, as a debt. Now, I can't say. So you that, have to pay it back. Well, as far as we know, I mean, you could go a year. I mean, nobody has, has done anything that heroic. But as far as we know now, you need to make it up and, or else you're carrying this debt that has, a, has the effect of impairing you slightly. So your advice as a guru of all this stuff would be that kids, adults, the best thing they can do is not get a sleep debt and, and maintain right. proper amounts of sleep. Right, because it, it, there's a tendency, for example, I can remember when I was uh, a grade school student uh, of this strange feeling that would come over me after lunch. I didn't identify it as sleepiness amazingly, but it would be kind of like, I just feel terrible. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, that would occur when I stayed up to listen to radio or do something like that and uh, so your advice to a lot of educators and parents would be get their kids to sleep oh, and get absolutely. at least eight hours a night well or what what they seem to need i think you have to judge what a person needs by the way they behave in the daytime do you get sleep in it and but what people, if they have caffeine or they have something well, that masks it i mean caffeine is the number two traded product on the planet uh is that because people are sleepy people, Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we've learned to, uh, you know, oppose our tendency to be sleepy by drinking coffee. Or Coke and, or... Or Coke, or anything that has caffeine or even take caffeine pills. But we, the best thing is to not need it. And I think, I don't know, that's, a, that's an issue for society to deal with. You can actually go, some intersections have a coffee shop on every... So it would actually be a great experiment to say, okay, if you say you only need six hours, great, but let's go without caffeine for a week and see if you can not get sleepy. That's that would, right. Have you ever done that experiment? Uh, yes, and people get sleepy. And they do. So, yeah, yes. so you actually, they actually and do a, have a sleep. There's a way day. also, if you're active, it isn't obvious that you're sleepy, but we've developed a test uh, that measures daytime alertness called the multiple sleep latency test. And it's a very simple, uh, if you're sleepy, you will tend to fall asleep, obviously. So in this test, you go to bed at 10 o'clock, noon, two, four, and six, and uh, brain waves are being recorded to see how long it takes to fall asleep. 
If you don't fall asleep in 20 minutes, the test is, is over. You get out of bed. But when we started doing this, Stanford University students would fall asleep in less than five minutes on every test. Wow. meaning uh, that they're very sleep deprived. Now they manage to deal with it by activity, but if you teach a large class like I do and you look out over the class, you will see many people. <laughs> and they're allowed to fall asleep this. in your class, right? No, I know. I, I'm, <laughs> hey, don't. and if you fall asleep, you have to stand up and say, Drow scream at the top of your lungs, drowsiness is red alert. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is also uh, applies to driving a car or any, any hazardous activity, you know, be aware of drowsiness. I, I, I think, I don't know how many lives I've saved by that simple thing, drowsiness is red alert. If your eyelids get heavy, stop driving. Really? Don't, oh, Pull yeah. Pull over to the side. Oh, man. I mean, to drive drowsy is, is worse than driving drunk. Uh, and there's probably so many people that do drive. Oh yeah, no, it's although I think I have a, a file of letters of students who say I saved their lives, but they they were drowsy, they got off the road. So you so, tell everybody in your class, drowsiness, drowsiness is, is red, red alert. alert. So we really got to get our sleep debt worn down, and we've got to start sleeping more, right? Right, and I, and I think uh, paying back the sleep debt is 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 task number one and then you'll finally reach a point where you can't sleep you know you can't get extra sleep now the the amazing at least has been impressive to me is that asking students and athletes for example the basketball players to get extra everybody can get extra sleep that means they're all sleep deprived right. you know you if you're not sleep deprived you cannot get extra sleep. So you just sleep eight hours and you're up. Right, or whatever your, right. you know, your quota is. But if you're sleeping 10 or 11 hours, you're sleep deprived. Probably, almost certainly.